that way. Now, here's something you have to always think about as you're painting flowers. Make sure that they will fit into the vase. I have seen flowers painted like out here, and the type of flower it was would have a stiff uh, stem. And the only way you could have gotten it out of the vase was if you drilled a hole in the vase and stuck it in. And the viewer will realize that. They might not know exactly what the problem is, but it will look a little bit awkward. So make sure that your flowers look like they are coming out of the vase. And when you do a, a stem line, <clears throat> make them a little bit curvy. Uh, stems in nature tend not to be noodle-like like this, nor are they really ramrod straight. Now, there's always exceptions. I don't know every flower in the, in the, in the world, but uh, if you have a little curve to them, they will appear more natural. And as you're making these stems with your knife, uh, if you make too many or you decide you need to uh, move something around, it's a little bit too much, it's not enough, whatever. You just wipe it right off. Now, I'm going to put a little green suggestion of the back of that, that flower there. You know, if you take out your art book, uh, any art book, and you go through the paintings and you ask yourself, where's the focal area? How has the artist made sure that I look at that focal area and study it. Okay. Uh, I'm studying this again. Um, no, I just realized that maybe this this would be better if this flower were cut down in size a little bit, if it were more like that. So I'm going to take my background, uh, and I'm just going to chop part of that flower off. Now, see, I think that looks better because it's not competing as much with this one uh, size-wise. Now I'll put some a little bit of greens right under here because I need something to show the end of that flower. So there, um, well, I didn't put any leaves there. Should have, but that that kind of gives us an end to that, and it it can be more of the leaves that are coming uh, across uh, the back. Thank you.